My throat's starting to go dry because I've been talking so long. Oh, it's quite, it's quite small. We'll, we'll soldier on through these hard times. Oh, I'm trying to impel myself on the staples by sticking my hand in there like I did before. There we go. Yep. It's got the official Tango Down website, you, well, you won't be able to see it, but I can promise you it's got the www.tangodown.com cut into it for some reason. <laughs> I'm sure that makes it more realistic, yeah. Uh, again with the Ditac stuff, nice multicam transferring onto it. It's got the QD lever there, just press that in, flip it around. Um, can be adjusted for your whatever particular rail you're using. Makes it nice and quick to attach your grips on. And that's one side, and this is going to be quite tricky to get out, I can see already, because it's a tight fit box. And oh yes, it's number three, the third Tokyo Marui SOCOM electric blowback rifle. SOP mod derivative type of thing. And it is very, oh, it's taped up. Where's my scissors? Not a clue. You'll be sitting there right now and you'll have been watching the video and you'll have remembered where I've put an iPod. So I will have to tear into this. Nice TM packaging as per usual. Lots of fancy writing. Oh, bloody hell, there's even more tape than I realised. Come on. I know you want to open. You just want to give me the lovely gum that's waiting inside of here. You just want me to, you're just teasing me, just making me wait a little bit more. You know I've been waiting for ages for this. Getting there. Ta-da! Beautiful. So plain right now. Be careful, be careful the, the insert is not secured inside the box. Ah, that hurt my ankle quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, watch for that. We've got front side adjustment tool, packaging. Yeah, we'll just uh, never quite remember how these are secured in. Is it up? Oh, here we go. There's this weird double sided velcro stuff. There we go. One at the moment, totally plain Jane M4A1, but with a lot of potential. Yeah, it comes with, as per normal, one of the 82 round mid cap mags, which is specific for the gun. There's a manual in there and some other pitch that no one cares about. I'm not going to talk to you about it. Gun itself, why did I buy this? Well, I've already got two of them. Well, stick with what you know. That's what I say. Um, I've had quite a lot of experience now working with these, so I know what I'm doing with them. They are just fantastic. Fantastic. And I, I find, to me, as I mentioned before, I find plain AGs now, they're a bit boring. When, when you've had so much time with these, they're just, the recoil isn't massive and, you know, they, they're still not quite as real as a gas blowback, but they're just so well made. They're, you know, they only shoot a low FPS, but stick a good type or in there. It's got the rotary hop units, same as the old style M14s, um, and these, they're just they're just excellent. They, they really are. You, you know, once you know what you're doing, you can. There is a fair amount of room to customize. Not as much as the standard type. Uh, M4 AGs, but you can do a lot. Uh, as I demonstrated in one of my earlier videos, showing one of the other ones I've got that I've already customised, there, there is there is a lot of scope. Even though some parts are proprietary, there is a lot that can be done with these. Um, and they're just, you know, they're just I, I just love them really. 
and I just can't get enough <laughs> as it apparently seems as, as I know and as I say three of them this is the third uh, and in a way I quite I love them as they are just plain they're really light just no there's hardly any weight up the front with these plastic hand guards the metal bodies are pretty good quality uh, unfortunately you can't lock the fake bolt plate to the rear for adjusting your hop up but it's no great shakes it does at least move when you move the charging handle obviously when you're shooting it will move the selectors are extremely crisp um, obviously it's got the function bolt stop when you fire off the last round in your magazine if you're using the mid caps not with the high caps um, just all your, all your recoil mechanism in there weights and springs etc they, they really are the, the sort of the future of where electric airsoft guns are for me well for me they're the present but I mean I think I think this is where airsoft should be going to my mind obviously they're expensive you know not everyone wants to pay the price of an easy looking I mean the SOCOM is cheaper than the SOP mod since it doesn't have the rail and, and you're still looking $470 before shipping it's expensive you could buy a Chinese plain M4 for $150 so this is you know over 300 more for what a lot of people consider not that much different but I like TM for their reliability the build quality not you know just I mean mainly the internal reliability that I like more the fact that I'm, I just know game after game I could just keep putting those magazines in there and it's just going to keep shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting for a long, long time, provided you treat it well, of course. Um, yeah, <laughs> not not sure what else. I can, not sure how much else I can say to praise it. Um, the trademarks aren't that well engraved. They must be said they're usually a bit shallow, but it does have proper realistic cult trademarks on there. Not so much on the other side. It's got some weird uh, made in Japan, Tokyo Marui Co. ASGK but they're, they're pretty small and everything else it's just, I mean, it's just, the whole thing's solid it's a good weight it's it's nicely built, look after it, don't abuse it and it'll just keep on working and working and working and that is, when you take it down to a base level one of the most important things and I think for skirmishing with these are the ideal compromise between a plain AEG and a GVB Obviously, GVBs at the realism end, AGs at the pure performance. These give you that AG performance of not having to worry about gas capacity and cool down, etc. While still having, they sound much better with the bolt going back and forward, bolt plate. Um, they do have a they do have a bit of a kick, especially when you get in full auto. They will kick a bit. And the bolt stop when you fire your last round, it just it just makes it such a better experience than an AG without the downsides of a gas gun um, and it does it have it has some downsides to a normal AG yeah, and some downsides compared to this gas but for that middle ground that compromise I think these are great big plans for this one I'm thinking of going 20 inch full M16 length barrel full length MOE hand guards uh, hopefully getting them camo dipped we shall see about that obviously with Pretty much doing the standard thing and getting a Magpul stock and probably a Magpul grip and all sorts of other fun things and scopes and blah blah you name it. But yeah, um, that's uh, that's some future to come. So yeah, hope uh, hope you've enjoyed watching as usual, guys. Um, if you want to keep an eye on the channel, then same advice as before: favourite channel, subscribe if you really like. Entirely up to you. Uh, Lots more unboxing videos and the odd review and shooting, all sorts of variety of stuff that I'll be doing. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.